Hi everyone, welcome to Java Techie. I believe unit test coverage is one of the hard requirements for many developers before we can actually push the code to production. A few days ago, I got to know about one plugin that is called Square Test, which can help us to boost our speed of writing the unit test. Okay, so let's quickly demonstrate this particular plugin in action. So let's get started. So to play with this square test plugin, first you need to add that plugin to your ID. I am using the IntelliJ idea and this particular plugin is only available for IntelliJ. It is not available for Eclipse or STS. Okay. So if you are using IntelliJ idea, then happily you can use this square test plugin. So first go to the IntelliJ idea, then go to the preference. Inside preference, you will find the option called plugins. So just click on this and then go to the marketplace search with square test you can see this particular plugin here okay click on install yeah once this will install it will ask you to restart your id so just do the restart so after you successfully installed you will find this icon in the top of the intellij idea you can see here right square test generate test method and there are couple of options and also initially it will be 30 day trial so i already tried it two days back so it is showing me 28 days remaining that's fine we can go with this trial version for now now if you want to generate the test case for any layer whether it is for controller or it is for service layer just go to that corresponding class first let me skip this yeah just go to the controller class and service class so you can open any of the class and then simply for that specific class you can happily generate the test case okay i mean all the method whatever we have defined for that specific class will be captured as a test case with the default value fine so this is the simple example i am using i am having three to four endpoint to add the product to get the product get product by id update the product and delete the product similarly i have logic in the service and my service is connecting connecting to the database okay this is a simple crowd application i am just trying to generate the test case for controller and for my service class using this square test plugin okay so first let me generate the test case for product service so just go to that particular class let me zoom this for you then simply right click on that particular class and you can find the option called generate just click on this generate icon then at the bottom you can find two options generate the test without mock generate the test with mock okay so always it's recommended to use the mock if you are doing the actual call to the dv so that we need to bypass so that is the reason we can go for the mock so click on this generate test confirm mock it will ask you which class you want to mock since my service will connect to the DV or repository, I will try to mock my repository class. Okay, who is the dependency to whom you want to mock? That is what the option says. So just choose whatever is needed for you, then click on OK. Once you will click on OK, then go to the project, go to the test module and you can see it created a package called service and inside service it created the test case for you and if you will observe carefully the test case it mock the repository and it inject the service and it is adding the template data or sample data for you to perform your test case however you still go to check the parameter and testing logic to make sure they indent make sense okay so if you see the save product method it generate the test scenario for me but I might have some complex logic in my save product method. So in that case, the parameter of the method to save the product and this particular sample data, you need to change. See here, you can change the product ID to one and name to the actual name and price to the actual value. 
you must need to provide that it will give you the skeleton as per your method structure in your service now whatever the additional validation you want to add add at part of your test case that you need to change okay so everything it give inbuilt to the test case only the things need to customize as per your need fine so if you observe it generate the test case for say product get all the products from the dv test get products product repository returns no item see here it also write the test case for your negative scenario get all the products when there is nothing in your dv okay then get product by id get product by id when the product is absent in your dv okay it is writing get by id for positive scenario as well as the negative scenario then update product okay then product repository find by id return absent that is what for update also it is adding the negative sense when you are searching the id if it is not present in your dv then how you how the update will be behave okay it will throw the exception see this this is what the code i have not written it this particular code snippet was generated by the squared test i mean he scan my service class and then whatever the method he found he just take their argument and just generate the test suit for me this is what it generate okay now you can happily run this test case go to the main i just want to run this test case okay make sure to change the input or parameter of your object okay so i am just giving the demo how it will generate the test and how you can run it so let's wait it to complete can you see here all the eight test case which is generated by this square test plugin successfully executed here okay now you want to generate the test case for your controller just go to the controller class let me zoom this so for controller class it will generate the integration test using the mock mbc okay that is what the standard every template follow the same so what it will does just you need to right click on that particular class click on generate then generate with mock now it is asking since from the controller will talk to the service it is asking me hey you want to mock your service yes just choose that as a dependency click on okay it will now generate the test case for you can you see here it generate the test case for me regarding my controller class now we can test this uh, or we can run this test case for controller and we'll see the result just run it i mean i am very sure that it will fail i mean few of the test case will fail because of the reason i mean when i say reason the template is generated by seeing our controller method but usually this is just a skeleton of your all the method whatever you have defined in your controller but how you will pass the parameter which type of value you are expecting those small changes those customization you need to do that okay so definitely it will save lot of your time to generate the test case or writing the test case manually see here i am trying to do the add product but i am giving the string content right so i need to pass the json string as a product object not not this string literal right so what i'll do i'll write a method as json string and i'll take the argument as a product and i will create this as a private method okay this should be string product and i will just define here new object mapper dot write value as string and give the product then handle the exception then just add the return statement fine now let's see if any other place we are giving the string literal content rather than giving the actual object this place okay test update product so here also i need to pass take the product object as a json string fine now if you'll go and check the failure test delete product 
this guy is getting failed it was expected expected zero but it is giving the string expected response okay see this tool is very smart he generate the test case for you but he is getting confused how you want to validate your test method okay so that is the reason he just append the response and asserting that with the expected response string so we don't need this actually you can remove and you can validate with the status code and if you want to validate with any field take that value from the response and assert that so i'll search for each and every place i'll remove this just remove this fine all good let me filter no now each and every test case method we are just asserting with the http status code if there is a failure we will not get this okay right anyway this will be the integration test so request will goes to your controller method and we are just mocking the service correct we are just mocking the service here so that is the reason the request will not go to your service but it will execute your controller method and this is again this is just a skeleton of your controller test scenario you must need to change the parameter rather than giving zero name you can give the id and some valid name of your product that is what something you have to do okay so now all good let me run this so all should pass now yeah so you can see here all looks good all the test cases succeed so this is something interesting right and i found this is extremely useful when we are done with completing our business logic with many public methods that need to be tested instead of manually writing all the test case by our own this plugin can help us reduce the case generation time for us isn't it and it will give more time for a developer to focus on the business and testing logic so that is what something quite interesting with this particular plugin okay so just give a try with this plugin on your system and do let me know in a comment section if you found any difficulty or you want me to suggest to do a video on some different plugin okay that's all about this particular video guys thanks for watching this video meet you soon with a new concept